Hey, everybody. Um, I just want to get on the record for saying that uh, Papa John sucks. They can suck a nut. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 you know what? I want to say this right now. Papa John's, if you want to make up for what you did to me today and what I did, what you did to my fucking bathroom, sponsor us. <laughs> Go ahead and sponsor us. I will happily self-mutilate my goddamn body for a sponsorship. Otherwise... <laughs> Get your shit together. You don't have specialty pizzas. You don't have a good pizza. You have a shitty pizza. I, <laughs> They're I, good. I, kill the I will eat the whole thing without a problem. And she's not talking about pizza. She's talking about dick. Theme song. Okay, well, what's going on, guys? This is the Whip Podcast. I'm Nap Sex Tech, and today I have with me Sean. Mama Donovan, who Texas Steampunk holds up. Hello, I'm Great OP. I'm the asshole of the internet. I thought you should know. Brian? Ryan? Speak before I put a silver fist up your asshole. Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you here. hear me? We can hear you. We've been waiting for you to introduce yourself. I've been, I'm apparently having connection issues. And now it just cleared out. Oh my god, Ryan. You ruined Christmas. I'm sorry. I'm a bad person. Okay, introduce yourself. Second chance redemption. Go. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Hello, I am the Silver Fist, and tonight we are going to Drangliak to save Onichan. And finally with us, we have our lovely co-founder and everything else like that. Hi, I'm John, otherwise known as Black Nappa 101. I'm eating popcorn and drinking alcohol, so this should be fun. I'm really tired. The, the call cleared up. Oh, I missed that whole introduction. <laughs> you can hear it later on the record back. Oh god, so. I was I was afraid I might have to restart my everything. <laughs> so guys, let's get this thing started with the thing that's been on everyone's mind: Joker's tattoo. What's... Oh, Fuck. Joker. Dude, food's been food's been on my mind ever since I shout out all of Papa John's <laughs> like small pizza. It's <laughs> funny you should talk about shit projectiles. Oh, that was the intro you were going with? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. By the way, everybody, you know, in place of Tori having shitty, shitty internet, Ryan now has shitty internet, so it's kind of like cosmic karma. No, my internet's fine now. It should be fine. I don't know what was up with that. That's what you get for talking That's how shit I started. on the internet. Uh, apparently, it's what I get for talking shit on the internet. You didn't talk shit about my internet. So, guys, everybody listening out there today... We were still wrong. have shit internet. Well, we all have shit internet, dude. We all, and, well, except for I don't you. have time Warner. Oh, <laughs> that was like I've had this internet for almost a, or for a little over a year. This is the first time all that time that I've had an actual internet problem. Good for you. Sorry that we're here. So we're quite off topic, guys. Sorry that you're in fucking Wisconsin and you don't have a hamster running on a wheel for you. Uh, <laughs> back, up, back on topic. Um. Guys, we were wrong. You know, earlier I stated... Like are wrong. Earlier I stated that um, the Joker would not have his tattoos for the upcoming movie. Oh, no. I was wrong. I was being a dumbass. Yet again. Guys, I'm officially fucked. I didn't wake up in the morning to get fucked by DC. But DC decided to stick a hard green dick up my ass and say, John, you take it and you enjoy it. That being said, take it away, Sean. Hmm, let's see. Oh. You should, should get that look bad, by the way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, you really you really need to pull out that um 
I think we've overused the joke now to, to its full entirety. But um, let's see. I saw a behind-the-scenes clip, and since it's possibly going into the movie, and it's part of a, ju- a final product, I have the right to judge. I have the right. Because y'all may have not seen it. And since it was online for about a few hours before it got pulled, they showed a clip of Harley Quinn and Joker acting out in a scene. And if I may describe the clip, this was pretty much Harley Quinn before Harley Quinn. So this is Harleen Quinzel. And I have to say, Harleen Quinzel actually looks, you know, like a psychiatrist. Professional, something we're not going to get later on in one of those outfits later on down the road in the movie. But, you know, actually looked respectable. Joker has a purple Corvette. (laughs) (laughs) I agree, you want to come ride a purple Corvette? Because one of the things that was visibly heard during the recording is get out of the car and sense it. Must have been his car. It was a purple Corvette. Oh my and he, goodness! And he he has his traditional uh, purple suit. Oh, but they have his signature deranged tattoo on his yeah. head. No, but it's, 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 it's not deranged. It's damaged. Oh, oh my God! Can I get damaged? I want to really show how people how damaged I am. But, uh, uh, yeah, but uh, anyway. And, and from what Jared Leto showed from his acting um, and his movements, he started off very intimidating and then did this little hand motion where he put both of his hands right by uh, Harley Quinn's head and then proceeded to break into this short little interpretive dance movement, probably explaining why he was in a car, before kissing Harley Quinn. And that was the end of the quit, and that was the end of the thing. So, like I said, I have seen part of a finished product. Therefore, I can at least judge on a little bit of what I've seen. Because, guys, you know that's what totally <laughs> and the fucking comics of Mad Love, of Joker just totally whisking away in a car, doing interpretive dancing, and then kissing Harley Quinn. And? Don't you know? Yeah. Thank you. I like the interjected rant. That was beautiful, huh? But anyway... Back on the thing, um, you know, I really hope Will Smith acts damn good in this movie. Then I really hope the other Suicide Squad members act damn good in this movie. I'm really banking on Captain Boomerang to be comic relief because to tell you the truth, folks, I don't have a lot of hope for this movie anymore. I'm going to call it, though. Harley Quinn is going to be the only character that has any sort of backstory to this whole thing. No, I, I can tell. I can tell you. I will tell you the plot to the movie right now, because apparently I manifested a fake script right in front of me. But come 2016, this is probably the movie. Suicide Squad is probably either a breaking into Arkham to stop Joker from doing something, only for Harley Quinn to betray them later on down the road which then would interact with the fact that they'll probably be in a lot more movies down the road, polluting the, the DC cinema universe. Basically doing what Assault, Assault on Arkham did. Pulling an Assault on Arkham. Or B, I'm wrong, the movie might be good, and the internet will pretty much lampoon me as an asshole even <laughs> further. <laughs> the but, internet being right. <laughs> but you see, to tell you the truth these days, you guys judge more on a costume than you do on actual product. I went through the trouble of finding, you know, behind the scenes stuff and actual clips from a movie. It was behind, the, it was more or less a shot and production clip, but it is going to be used in a finished product, apparently, from what I have read. So. <coughs> Excuse me. DC. Uh, can I play less, devil's advocate right now? Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? Yeah, go for it. Are you sure that's gonna be final cut, or are you, or could it be that that's just a take? 
okay. There's always that's that a take. I'm going to let you know right now. It's a shitty take. And anything furthering that might not be as great as a take as it is. But the okay. Then it's just that it's, it's a take. take. They could just redo it later on and do it better. But dude, they showed off the acting. Yeah, well... They, they, there was actual sounds in the video. I got to see it. I have a right to at least have an opinion about what I've seen. What I'm not saying is that the rest of the movie is going to be bad. It's just from what I've seen, I'm not really hopeful for Jared Leto's Joker. I'm willing to give it a chance. That stance I have not changed. I like how DC pretty much proved me wrong by keeping the tattoos on his skin. That that was a nice surprise. Not really. You know, I... I here I am enjoying their multiversity series, and then DC goes, oh, hey, yeah, by the way, you had herpes. Enjoy. So. Yeah, that, that's that's something I really wasn't, that I did not like. Um, I'm more interested to see how David Ayers, David Ayers pretty much, uh, I think that's the name of the director, uh, to see what he's going to go with this, because... Um, you know what, it, Ryan, let, let's just say it is a take. Um, for a take, it was not a great take. So, either I think they jumped the gun by hiring freshly new actresses. I'm sorry, hon, but this is something I'm passionate about. Um, I, I think they jumped the gun by hiring some fresh new faces for Hollywood, and they probably put on a bit too big of a bridges. Oh, with the exception of Will Smith. Yeah, with the exception of Will Smith and Tom Hardy. But anyway, Colleen, I believe you have something to say about it. I'm not... I, I, I'm trying to go with a grain of salt. It's so hard with the saltiest person in this conversation. I'm just going to leave it at that. All I mean, was, all I'm gonna say sure, so, it, Sean, I see your point, but I mean, you think of like... Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, Chris Pratt, what was he before Guardians of the Galaxy? He was, he was in Parks and, and Recs. But he was still a great actor. I still liked him then. Sure, I liked, but no. I mean, like, what else has he done? Jared Leto has actually done a yes, lot I'm before not, this. I'm not doubting Jared Leto. I've seen movies with Jared Leto. I don't know who voice actor. He's a fantastic actor. actor. I'm just thinking he bit off a little bit more than he can chew. Possibly. Oh, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Then again, most of the people on here on this uh, on the uh, blah, 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 Suicide Squad movie are probably biting more than they can chew. With the exception of Tom oh, Hardy. Me. And Troy's on. Holy shit! Hi, Troy. Hi, me. We're talking about <laughs> you. We're talking about the Joker and his tattoos. The house confirmed. Again. Oh god. Third <laughs> week in a row. Y'all, y'all have already, y'all have already seen my video. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Have not, have not changed. Uh -huh. Though I, though I have a new video. Sure is excited for it. <laughs> I am not. I'm not. Frowny face all the way. <laughs> okay, Troy. This is like the one in a million times you were actually right in that one debate with me. So, I will give you one that. A million, one in a million times, really, really, is, is, is that your, your defense? Really, James? Is is, yep. is that what you is that what you're gonna say? Because uh, you remember the other time when I was really adamant about things not changing for a certain thing? I don't know what was it. Uh, it it completely changed everything when it came to the source material. Oh yeah, DMC, that pile of garbage. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't disagreeing with you. I was agreeing. Yes, with you me. were. No, I was ladies, not. Ladies, ladies, you're Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You're confusing me with another a-hole for a moment there. No. And you're confusing me with a certain someone whose name starts with a C. No. You didn't see the light till I showed you the demo. So anyway. Yeah, then I wasn't agreeing. Okay, it was back to that. So Never anyway. Mind. So anyway. Um, anyway so, so since we were talking about uh, Will Smith. Let's talk about uh, Jaden Smith. Uh, oh, oh, God. Um, <laughs> you know what? I, I want to ask you all a question. Uh -huh. who, who here went to prom? 
posted my, the video by the way if you wanna if you wanna watch it because it's pretty great. Freshman to senior year. Is, is that is that a shameless plug right there? No, 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 not not my video. It's somebody oh. else's video. It's fucking hilarious. Okay. okay, but who here went to who here went to prom? I went all four of my high school career. I did. Okay. Tori? I did not. Tori, did you go to prom? Nope. I went to Barnes Noble instead. Like a good girl should. I went to two years of prom and they both sucked. Sorry. They suck. Well, here's the thing, though. I went to Barnes & Noble to throw away my baby, so... What? What? <laughs> what? Sorry. It's, it's Barnes & Noble is not an adoption agency. It is not a dumpster, Tori. I, I can only assume she meant a book. <laughs> I'm really hoping she meant a book. I'm really oh, hoping oh, she hey. meant a book. Actually, if somebody that's listening to this podcast to see if there's a book called The Baby... Please. Well, there is Wait, a game. Justin. There's a game that talks about the baby a lot, and I'm looking to Troy because I know he knows what I'm talking about. Okay. Point being, Jane Smith went to prom in a white Batman suit. Any thoughts? Well, <laughs> cool for funny. him. This is this is the guy that might be our new Static Shock when DC decides to make that no. decision. No. Oh my goodness. No, we don't need that in our lives. No, come on. No more father-son projects, please. The wise I miss Static Shock. It's going to be me. Which no. means it, it, should, it should be the kid from Holes instead. Just saying. Huh? Yes. 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 Cleo yeah. yes. so, Thomas. I thought, oh, I, 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 I thought that kid was dead or in jail. He's not dead. Or Shia actually, LaBeouf? Actually, Troy, would, would Donald Glover be a more better suited choice for Static Shock? No. Oh yeah, I forgot about Donald no, Glover. I think Donnie Glover would be better as Miles Morales, but yeah, he's supposed to be Miles oh, Morales. I I so. can't picture him with like dreads. Who? Uh, Donald can't Glover. No, hands. He'd have to grow his hair. And try. I mean, I I I'd want to see it, but I can't see it right now. Are we just gonna not ignore her, the fact that he dumped a fucking baby in a? Dumpster parts in the yeah. book. Oh, she dumped a book called A Baby. No, I was, I was no. being sarcastic. Sure, Tori, sure. Guys, we're just going to ignore the fact that Tori threw a baby <laughs> in the dumpster. That threw the baby away. Anyone look, listen, look. Anyone, look, anyone listening out there, Tumblr, here's your bait. Have at it. Tum, Tori, Tum goes, Tori, Tori threw babies away. Uh, you, John, you know yeah. more than anyone else, Tumblr is just going to like, how dare you, John, say that? Tumblr doesn't care about abortions. They only care about feminism. I got a cat. I also have a cat. It's, fucking it's right cute. there. The only time Tumblr cares about abortions is when someone says they can't do it. Tori, you can't do it. There you go. Now, to, now, now Tumblr's mad because it's... How oh, dare you know, tell a woman... It's my money and I need it now. <laughs> They've been told no. <laughs> you never tell Tumblr now. Okay, okay. That point being... Uh, Jane Smith had a better prom than all of us because he could dress, dress up as fucking Batman. Yeah. No, no, he didn't get to dress up as Batman. He dressed up as White Lantern Batman. Still... Oh, so that was a legit Batman. Yes, that was a legit Batman. Did oh. his girl dress up as a White Lantern Selena Kyle? No. Because <laughs> Catwoman wasn't a White Lantern. I know. What? Where did you get White Lantern Selena Kyle? What the fuck? I was just getting fucking. I'm just... She, she made a good attempt at a Catwoman joke. Uh -huh. I laughed. So that's all that matters. Yeah. I would just like to say that instead of going to prom, I went to a big-ass LAN party in a gymnasium okay. with probably like 50 to 100 people. It was significantly better than any prom. Was there a heavy bird? Yeah, I will gladly admit. And I met people who I became friends with. And if I haven't met them... I wouldn't be the guy I would be today. Aww. So shout out to Victor Dutleff and Tommy Doyle. Yay. Fucking beautiful. Um, two, two true brothers of mine. Aww. I went to prom and made friends with a Chinese kid. And his name, was, the, and his name was not Ping Pong, guys. And he did not play joke. <laughs> and there was no pee pee in the Coke. Oh. My, my years of prom were interesting, to say the least. Because, uh... I found out 
that uh, the people who were in ROTC throw better fucking parties than the loose floozies that were at my high school. Yeah, and I missed out on that. That's saying a lot. All right, let's go back on topic. Okay. What was the topic? Um, I'm going to it right now. Colleen, you've, so, been, you've been gone for so long. Why, oh, God. Why don't, you, why don't you tell us what you've been up to since, like... Oh my god, I've been busy with work and dealing with a lot of um, family, personal family stuff. I had a passing in my family, so that explains why for like the past two weeks I've been gone. It's like I've been dealing with all that and depression and everything like that. And then work's been like screwing me over with the sleep schedule to where I get no sleep. And so there's all that. And... I've just been trying to regain everything by playing video games, and I have not really succeeded at that because I uh, I got I made the mistake of buying two games from Capcom, and one of them. Well, we'll, Capcom, go, we'll, yeah. go into, we'll go into that a little later. I just we were talking video games. So yeah. video games. Troy. Troy. Bye. But before we get into video games, I was going to have my corner. Oh, God damn it. Or no. Okay. Guys, everybody on here, I promised Tori that she can have her two it's minutes. Tori's two, corner. She can have two minutes to talk about chat. Captain America. Guys, everyone listening, or everyone who's on here right now, go ahead and do something. Get a, get a water. Go to the bathroom. Go and have her talk. And go. Tori, okay. here's your corner. Go. Okay. So they've released new pictures for the Captain America filming. Last week, I talked about how they released some funeral pictures where you see some of them in suits, but we had no idea who the funeral was for. So this week, we got a big hint. There was a Union Jack on the coffin, which means that it is probably Peggy. And they have also released new crossbone pictures that show her in her new crossbone pics that show him in his gear and I think it looks pretty cool, but the thing is, it's very, like, metal like, it's got this metal helmet, and he has the X, like, spray-painted over a metal chest plate. At first, I thought it was weird, but then I figured it makes sense, because, well, this Crossbones is going against more than just Captain America. He might have to go against Iron Man, which requires a little more armor. And also, uh, we saw some of the makeup for his scar... So, so far we saw that his eye is burned. It makes him look like Prince Zuko. It's so weird. Now, for those of us who don't know anything about comic books, who, who's Crossbones? Crossbones is Brock Rumlow, and I don't know. So, okay, I know in the comics, little spoiler, he's supposed to be the one who shoots Captain America. Well, he starts, he shoots him in the shoulder at the end of Civil War. Followed by a shot to the gut from Sharon Carter, who was being oh. Okay. In other words, he's not a really big character that everyone's making a big character out of. This character honestly has no real big significance in Marvel Comics. The only I have a question. What's your question? Tori. What? They have a lot of Captain America movies. Why do they not feature Captain Britain? Captain Britain was a real character. He's a better character. He is a better character. By Jove. Let's see. What do you mean they have like a lot? They technically only have the two. No. Well, well, I mean, yeah, the really old ones too. But like the new ones? uh. The one that the Excalibur. Tori, I want to make a a follow-up question. What? Once Captain America dies, what are you going to talk about? Winter Soldier. America. Bucky. Bucky? Are you Bucky? Yep. I want to talk about U.S. Agent. U.S. Agent was cool. He was until, Captain America. Until he, until, until he got retconned out. <laughs> no, he's still a character. He still exists. Somewhere. Well, I'm sure I will talk about the Suicide Squad movie once it actually comes out. It's going to be caca. It's going to be shite. Okay. It's going to be total shite. Okay, guys. And also, when I watch... I'm going to see Mad Max this weekend. Wait, this so weekend? I, Sorry. Probably oh, oh. this weekend. Hold on. I want to make something I want to make something out of it. The weekend... Okay. okay. 
Troy and Tori, the week and I, the week I come to Corpus, I want to see it with you two so we can gauge your reactions. Yeah, fine. Okay. And I will happily pay for the popcorn. But will you pay for the bunch of crunch that I will put in the popcorn? No. For you, sure. You get to put your own... I don't like bunch of crunch in my popcorn. Fuck that. Well, fine. I'll get my own popcorn and my own bunch of crunch. Good. Okay. So this week we're talking video games. Guys, video games. I'm, I want to ask you a question. What is your all, what is your all time favorite video game? In one and just like in one little sentence, go. Yeah, I can't do that. Portal Two. Killer Seven. Assassin's Creed Three. My favorite video game is the Mass Effect series as a whole. Okay, Troy. What about you? I can't simply water down to just one game or one series. See, do what I did. I did a whole series. I just said I can't do it to just one series. I can't do oh. it to just one game. Okay. Uh, give me something that, that speaks out to you. Speaks out to me would be Mega Man X series, Legend of Zelda series. Uh, Sanic. The, ori- the original Sanix, yeah. <laughs> I-, I enjoy me some Sanic. The fuck's a Sanic? Oh, let's see what it did there. Metal Gear. Metal Gear is one of the most intense series of all time with its intense story of U.S. US style or Japanese style U.S. politics. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. No. 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 Otacon. See, I'm going to be that guy. This is Resident Evil. I love it. Even when it's shit. I still Uh, love it. uh, Even when it's shit, I still love it. But um, that being said, Okay, Castlevania. So that, being said, that being said, what is your least favorite video game? Capcom. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Oh. I'm just going to group it all together and just say Capcom as of recently. You don't know. Monster Hunter gets an exception. Oh, Monster Hunter Capcom Force Capcom as of recently, including Monster Hunter. No, you don't get away, you don't get away with saying that. It's, a good, it's a good game. You, you, you do not filter my mouth, sir. Just because you don't like the game doesn't mean the whole thing is shit. Dude, well, it's my opinion, sir. And I believe everyone's entitled to their opinion, even though they're fucking wrong. Though I may disagree with your opinion, I will fight your... I will defend your right to say it. <laughs> Guys, they're gonna fight. Fight, 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 kiss, kiss. Sean, least favorite video game, go. There's a lot. Just give me one off the top of your head. Okay, do you want the one that caused me the most rage, or the one yes. that caused me to not finish it? Most rage. rage. MK Mythologies. <laughs> Dude, MK Mythologies is fucking great. Dude, uh, MK Mythologies sucked ass. There we go. It, it's fucking awesome. It's just really fucking hard, but it's really fucking great. Wait, Wait did you play it on N64 yeah, or PlayStation? Yeah. Did you? I, you? I played it on... PlayStation 1. It's so good on PlayStation 1, though. What is wrong with you? That game is great. It's just really fucking hard. And then the acting's really cheesy, but that only adds to the great because it's fucking terrible, and that's funny. Stop that time! Okay, cool. I can give you that one then, Troy. But you try explaining Special Forces to me. Hmm? I can't. Never played it. Okay. I have. Not good. Combat time. Mythologies is still great. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, so yes, anyways, it is. Tori. No, it's not. Tori, 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 Tori. Can we just agree that my most hated game is the worst game ever? No, no, I, I can beat it. Tori. How? Tori, go ahead. I don't invest in video games that I know, uh, that I don't know that I'm going to love, that are, or that I know I'm not going to love. That's a so very, I don't have a least favorite. That's a very cheap answer. Troy. Yeah. Way to cop out there, Tori. Troy, least heard video game. Go. Dude, again, I don't even fucking know. Like, I, I do my best to forget the bad ones. I erase them out of my mind. I already know your answer. Sonic Boom. What? Dude, I actually played the demo. That game was garbage, but I know that there's worse out there. But it I is pretty damn sad. Played. I was I was 100% correct about it. I can tell you my least favorite right now is a Drake of a Drake of Thousand dra- Drake of ninety nine dra- some Drake of ninety nine dragons or Drake of a Thousand dragons. It was an Xbox game. That Drake was, of ninety nine dragons. Yeah. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Okay, I got one for original Xbox that was just fucking awful. 
that my dad bought for like 99 cents and I played it. It's just fucking shit, dude. Mm. It was called Nightcaster. Oh, wait, I got one that's worse. Nightcaster? Hold on. Mm -hmm. That sounds familiar. What was Nightcaster about again? Because this sounds familiar. Oh, my God, I played this game. It is bad. It is bad. Oh, my God. Is it is it Bubsy is 3D game? bad or is it just bad? Bub, here's the thing about Bubsy 3D. Bubsy 3D isn't bad. It's just not finished. <laughs> so it's it's really not a game so much as it is just a tech demo. God. Okay, that I can't agree with Detroit because I did oh only like, as Bub, a kid. Bubsy 3D really isn't a game. Something that's a fucking shocker. Troy and I agree on a lot of things, except when it comes to things we're very passionate about, and then we're kind of torn. You two are God, Nightcaster looks like a terrible version of. In fact, Fable. Here's the here's the funny thing. When I actually finally got to play a Bubsy 3D, because for the longest time I was like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. And then turns out that Travis had it, so he was like, Okay, so I'm gonna show you how terrible Bubsy 3D is. And I was like, Wow, this like crushes my soul, because I had Bubsy one and two, and those games were actually good. And then I showed them the original Bubsy, and they were like, what the fuck happened? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. And you and I were just sitting there making conspiracy theories the whole night as to what the hell happened to the creator. Yup. He died. Dude. Yup. He went into the witness protection program. You know what? I want to retract my answer. I want to say Fable 2 is the worst game I ever played. Dude, no, shut no. the fuck up. No, 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 no. no. I have re- oh. I have, no, no, no. God. I, I have God. a reason. God. Let's hear him. No. the fuck out. I oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. If you can shit on Monster Hunter, I can shit on Fable 2. That was whoa, whoa, whoa. When did I shit on Monster Hunter? I mean, Hunter? I mean, Colleen. Colleen, if you can shit on oh, Monster Hunter. Shit. Monster no. Hunter because it's a shit game. Oh. Dude, you should say Double Switch. Double Switch was pretty terrible. No, no, no. The reason I have things against Fable 2 is that it had a really good story buildup. And mm-hmm. the game was going progressively really well up until the end. The end is where they completely fuck it up. Yeah. You mean kind of like what they did for Resident Evil Revelations? No, no, Revelations was good. No, it was not. Revelations no, it's good. like what they did with Mass Effect 3. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what the ending of that was. No, I, I still love the series. <laughs> the end, okay, honestly, the ending fucked it up because it made no sense. Troy. The exactly. official ending to Mass Effect 3 is that everybody hates it. That's the official, the official ending. ending. The official ending was like Final Fantasy 13's ending. You had to pay to get it. <laughs> you wouldn't get it because you didn't have the money. $20 DLC ending. Get it. Buy it. <laughs> um, the funny thing wait, is my, uh, my friend got DLC. Final Fantasy 13 too and bought that DLC ending without realizing it was the ending. He just sort of bought it because he just wanted to buy it. Kind of like when you're Eevee breeding a Pokemon and then you just toss it away because it has a certain nature. I, okay, I want to swap out. I just thought about it. I kind of want to swap out my uh, my best game I've ever played answer because I love Portal 2, but like anything from 2 to 51 is like the best games I've ever played. Like anything just 2 to 51. 2 to 51 can just shit out like sparkle, like just take a huge take a game it's like have him taking a huge shit and covering it in sparkles and it'll be the best fucking game ever I've to ever give you the gravitas of this guy's work he made a game where you play as a film reporter you get bonus points for staring at cleavage and and t- and then and, and like fucking fagoo and you get to go down on like two different chicks and it's amazing and i have like, this game it's called michigan report from hell it is i can't the best play game it ever I oh can't. i heard of that game oh my yeah, god i own it but I can't play it because I don't have an imported PS2. So if anybody would like to donate me an imported PS2, I will I will grant you one favor of your choosing within limitations. That includes sexual. I don't care. Go ahead. Those might be. Uh, if you want to talk about a good company, <laughs> Platinum good. Games is a good company. Yeah. I mean, I've only known like one game made by them that's not absolutely fantastic. That's the Legend of Korra game. I've heard positive reviews out of that one. It's okay, but like compared to other Platinum games, which are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, well, I mean, 
I don't know. When I saw Legend of Korra, it was like 15 bucks on Steam, so it kind of makes sense that it's not, yeah, you know, full. Yeah, it's not. I, okay. I, oh. I want to I wanna argue. <laughs> I want to say about the Legend of Korra game, everything, oh. everything about that game is good up until you do, like, the arena scene. Well, like the, uh, the, the that sport game, whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, that shit. That shit pissed me off. It was so fucking stupid. All right. Um, okay. So this week we're talking about video games. Off the top of my head, I just found out M. Bison is in Street Fighter V. Yes! I am not surprised! For you, it was the worst tragedy in your life. But for me, it was just another Tuesday. <laughs> yes, uh... Oh man, I was I was gonna make a whole thing. God damn it, Sean. Yeah, Street Fighter V hype is out and M. Bison's in. So that's a good it news. It was delicious. It was delicious. Um, delicious. Yes. So, yes. 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 So it was gonna, a tease, dude. So we're going to have like a whole like minute of everyone just doing M. Bison quotes. That's, if that's a thing. <laughs> and content ID. Yeah, that's content ID. That's con- I'm just kidding. That is, con- that is content ID. No, no, no. Um, it it uh, it's not a direct feed, so it's not gonna. And then also under D minimus, it actually doesn't have anything to affect this podcast. So, ha ha, take that copyright, John. The day you found out that by <laughs> oh. was going to be in Street Fighter Five was the most important day of your life. I love it. For me, yeah. it was a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is delicious. Anyways, so oh, yeah, Bison oh Street Fighter Five. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's uh, discuss. Okay. On, on, Is it on, same, same costume? <laughs> same, same, God damn it, same costume. Yes. Um, yep. On top of that, uh, another thing that's come up recently is uh, Bloodstained Return to Return to um, whatever, Blood Ritual, whatever. It's, I am so guys, fucking guys, excited guys. about that. It's, it's Holy Castle, shit. It's, uh, Castle, yeah. it's a Castlevania, pretty much. Guys, guys. guys I yeah, it, it's, well, it's made it's by Igarashi. He's the yeah. guy who, that's the okay. guy who made Symphony. Okay. Troy, now follow yeah. me on this because I think you'll like this proposal. But I checked the Kickstarter from the uh, the pledge things. Um, if we throw in about five thousand dollars, we'll get to hang out with Igarashi. Yeah, well, but we won't, won't understand a word he's saying, so I'm good. He speaks English. English. He does oh. speak English. No. He speaks English. I still I need to, to donate to this. I have no clue what. Okay. What? Uh, which one I want? Let's make a proposition, guys. How many are we on? How many are we right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody donates a good chunk of money into this nope. cause, and we get. I'm to just re- so happy that this thing hit a million in one day. Oh yeah, I'm so happy Cause, too. Because here I was thinking Castlevania would a million day. within half a day. Yeah. Right it, now it's at almost 2.5 million. Yeah, like I remember, I remember that day because I, I woke up, I heard about it, and then I went to work, and then I came back, and it was funded. Yeah. Okay. So to give you a good idea how much Troy loves this, not five minutes after this happened, I got tagged in, and it's like, holy shit, dude, you love Castlevania, I love Castlevania, we need to do something about this because this is awesome, and I was like. I can't believe I let this slip by. What have I do in my life? From the last time I checked on this, they've added another stretch goal, and they're almost hitting it. They're, they're going to hit it. There's a there's a big demand for a, on a, like a Retroidvania Classic game. Classic mode. Dude, this is going to be like the best Castlevania successor ever. Dude, or, fuck yeah. Not like the Mighty Number no. 9, which sucked. So, Kojima... Is that still, still going to be a thing? I'll no, no, no. Make it, it, it's a, it is a thing. It's already a thing. As your gun vault, as your gun vault and Mighty Number no. Nine are things, and they suck. Yeah, when I heard about Mighty Number no. Nine, I was like, I like how they were like introducing it. I was like, oh, it's another Mega Man game. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck about Mega Man. Now, if it was Mega Man X, we got another story. I love Mega Man X. Mega Man? Nah, don't give a fuck. I just didn't care for any of it. But but this this uh, bloodstained ritual of the night, this I'd be interested in. Oh yeah, so it's a thing. I'm gonna donate. Troy better donate. Sean, you better donate too. I say we donate a collective five thousand. We can meet him. Okay. Okay. I mean, I wish I did have money to give to this guy. Well, sell your body. 
Uh, All we gotta do is down donate a thousand each. Yeah, good luck with getting that money. Okay. On top of that, we've got an announcement. We got an announcement for Doom Four. If anyone's cool interested about that, not really. I guess. Troy, oh. Doom Four. Anything? Did it do anything for you? Oh my god, Doom 4. If that turns out to be the thing they're announcing and not Fallout 4, I'm going to be super pissed. Uh, I, wa- I kind of wanted to happen like that. No, I, we need Fallout 4. You don't understand. We're going hey, to get Fallout 4. Yeah, but I want it. What? What's up, what, what's up, Colleen? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, what's up? You know? Uh, Troy? I guess not. Troy, I think Troy's in and out right now. Um, yeah, Doom 4 out and out is announced. There's some footage and shit like that. I've never been a real big fan of Doom, but oh well. And someone's tapping their goddamn mic. It's Troy. It's Troy. Hello. Yes, hey Troy. We can we can hear you. Stop tapping on the mic. It's about fucking time. Hey, okay, Doom 4. What do you say? Stop I've known about it. You know, I've known about it since like February. Okay, how do you feel about it? I haven't seen it yet. I've just heard about it. Apparently, it's supposed to be really badass because my friend went to my friend Jason went to QuakeCon, so he told me all about it. He told me about the hidden trailer that they didn't show anybody and the crowd response and all that shit. So I've known about it. I mean, it's Doom, so Doom's awesome. So that's gonna be cool. Okay, uh, we've also got a uh, new DLC that just dropped recently: Destiny House of Wolves. If anyone cares about Destiny and that shit fest, no, no. Mm. I know someone who does. So does Ryan. Oh, I told you. Don't don't even. Yes. Stop being creeper. <laughs> Too bad. Sorry. Yeah. Borderlands Halo Edition didn't it didn't interest me. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I got a live stream today of um, another. I mean, the story that never was. Mm-hmm. I, I will got... tell you why this story is shit. But I won't. Um, <laughs> I shit you not. So I'm watching a live stream today of a. Uh, of this guy named Fred Wood, who runs the Bandcast, literally streaming his unboxing of all the equipment he gets. I ask him on the... I ask him during his live stream, so, can you tell me in a nutshell what the fuck is going on in Destiny? And he goes, honestly, shit just got real, because someone killed a person, and that person's pissed, so they're sending an army to kill me, but I'm fighting back with a bigger army. That's what he just told me. Well, good for him. But there's... There, I, really, there's no story, and... Um, Throughout his whole, I guess, 10-minute so- uh, seg- little video, he was very disappointed because apparently his DLC dropped no good goodies. It was just like shit. So yeah, Destiny. So, so what you're saying is this this expansion has no story, no story. and shit drop rate. Yeah. Did they did they even add anything to the game? Because it sounds like they they haven't. They added missions. So they, they've added missions. Ooh. Oh, I'm so glad for those who have bought Destiny. I had a friend tell me because I bought right. Destiny on launch and was completely disappointed. This morning, a friend of mine said, "Dude, you need to get back into Destiny." I was like, "Yeah, no, it's no. not worth. It's not worth it. No, it's know. not." All right, we've also. It wasn't got... worth the sixty dollars I bought at launch, and then like the sixty more dollars I bought for the PSN Plus. You, you're horrible for doing that. Why would you do that to yourself? PlayStation Plus gives me free games every once in a while. Okay. Yeah, okay. PlayStation Plus is pretty great. It is pretty great. Except when they're not working. That's true. I don't well, that's just working right that's now. That's PSN in total. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fucking um, lizards. Okay. On top of that, um, The Witcher Three came out. I got it. You lucky fucker. I don't care. Uh, uh, I never played uh, Witcher. Colleen, dare I ask, is there any game you care about that's not Animal Crossing? I never played the Animal Crossing, so I don't care for Animal Crossing. Is never any... played Animal Crossing? No, she's obsessed with Legend of Zelda. Is there any game that you're obsessed with that is not Legend of Zelda and or Pokemon and or Suda 51? Um, or Portal. She Portal. Also... Or Portal. She also cares a great deal about Final Fantasy X because whenever I talk bad about it, I get a shoe upside the head. And oh, then, you talk bad about it one more time then, with, uh, with no pointless, pointless reasons type of shit that you've already told me. You're going to get a Final Fantasy X. I'm going to talk about 8. Okay, hold up. 
You like Final Fantasy VIII? I don't talk shit about Sean's favorite one, which is nine. Nine so. is fantastic. Hold what on. the fuck? Ever. Eight or nine. They're both good. Colleen, I want to ask you a question. What? What is your take on 10 2? This is where I gotta leave the room. <laughs> That's funny. I like 10 2 more than I like not than I like 10. I thought both were equally 10 bad. 2 is a half and half kind of thing. It had its good moments and it had its bad moments. Uh, I like the fact that it did take a different shape with Yuna. And I like the idea with the dress spheres. I, however, did not like a lot of the side cast, nor did I like the whole, um, all the fucking side missions that you had to do. And if you went on to a, do a main mission and you didn't do a certain side mission, you wouldn't be able to get, like, a certain dress for or get 100%, which I thought was complete bullshit. What? For the record, I will say one good thing about 10-2. Pain. I like pain. Pain was literally just Lulu. In a different Guys, dress spheres was just an early version of Paradigm Shift. I also surprised. like Lulu as well. I'm not surprised by this at all. All right, all right. We're, we're all getting a little heated here. Sean. I'm just I just felt like 10 2 was funner than 10. Yeah, I can agree with you on that. So, I have, I have a suggestion. Guys, do we know who, we all know who made D4, right? Or Sally Sean does. I know. Yeah, okay. that's, isn't it the same guy that made Killer7? No. no. No, no. Never mind then. Oh, no. Killer7 was made by Studio 51. Do not ever confuse Studio 51 right. with anyone's lesser work of his. Okay. So, guys, I have an idea. To yeah. make the perfect video game. So, we get a, we get a, detec a detective. Uh -huh. let's, make, let's make it a high school girl. Uh -huh. And she's an ace detective. Okay. But she can only do this through her power of imagination. So, the more creative her imagination gets, the better she can find shit or solve, like, solve mysteries. How do you feel about that? Um, it from sounds like it's been done before. Okay. Well, let's up the ante. Uh, let's say that she has to masturbate in order to build up this ecstasy or this imagination in order to solve crimes. <laughs> I don't care for it anymore. I, I'm sure there's an, uh, there's an obscure out there, you know, so, in Japan. Okay. Well, the guy who made D four wants to make this wants to make this game, where a girl is a like master detective, and solves crimes through masturbation. There you go. Why? And like that, you've lost me. Uh, Why? I, I want to I want to take it a level up, and I want to say that we make this character Tori. I knew it. I knew it. Was the end of this. <laughs> and it has to be either of uh, Bucky or uh, Steve. No, no, no. Every time she masturbates, she, she opens up a little wallet and she sees Bucky. All the all the Avengers cast. She's like, oh, yeah. avenge me! Oh. <laughs> there you yep. go. Why Tumblr doesn't like us? <laughs> yes. And that's where I take my exit stage left. No, take Troy. me with Troy. Take me with you to Claudia and the Underboob Troll. Troy, we love you. Okay. Um. Well, How much would this game be? Um. Sixty bucks. Fuck it. Nah, not worth. it. more like it. Oh. Now, if it was twenty dollars, I'm I'd consider buying it. But dude, you I wouldn't be able to stream it though. So. Yeah. You can stream no, it. it's it's just that. No, if it's about it's masturbation, that that okay. violates the. Uh, it just terms feels of like everyone's trying too hard now. I, I talked about this before. It just feels like everyone nowadays is trying way too hard to pull the. Oh, let's be raunchy and add this into it because this hasn't been done before. <laughs> It, it, no more heroes. Do I need to point it out? No more fucking heroes. Whoa, whoa, what's whoa. wrong with What's wrong with no more heroes? It's a good no, game, no, though. No, 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 no. Let me explain. I'm saying that the idea made, literally made me think of no more heroes. I I fucking love no more heroes. You you could talk to Sean. I would fuck Travis's touchdowns goddamn brains out for those fuck's sakes. Like I love no more heroes. But with the way you point out, oh, she's a detective. Okay, what else? She has these powers. Okay, what's the plot? Oh, what's the what's the cast show? She has to masturbate. Fucking knew it. Okay. Now, if um, you if you said she had to like murder an undead baby, that'd be like, oh. Right. I, I I don't see the, the, I don't see how that goes to no more heroes. Because in order for Travis to use his beam katana, you have to use it in a masturbating, jerking motion to charge it back well, up. That, well, 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 that's well, just because well. that was funny. Exactly, and that's the only re oh, it's fucking Yeah, nuts. it's like one of them flashlights. You need a shake in order to charge up the battery. That makes sense. Except he does it near his crotch. 
which is funny because it, it looks like masturbation. It's hilarious. All I have to ask though is um, see, but he wasn't actually masturbating. Where hold on, hold on, I was saying he, something. She was oh, okay. I'm I'm excited that Swearia wants to make this game. Mm. If he can make it at forty dollars, that would be great. But I want to know is. Where the fuck is my season two of Dark Dreams Don't Die? He's finishing yeah. it. He's finishing it up. He needs to finish it quicker. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you are you a game developer? Uh, Bitch, I might was. Hold on, Sean, <laughs> Sean, don't answer that just yet. Ask that question again. No. No, just 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 trust me on this. Ask me that question again. Are you Thank a game? You. De- are you a game developer? <laughs> I fucking knew it, and I knew you were gonna do it, but I let you do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, we're really using the shit out of this loophole. <laughs> <laughs> it feels delicious. I'm, 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 pretty, I'm probably just gonna put a picture of fucking M Bison on this fucking. Episode. Yes. I mean, it is delicious. You could. I could. I'll put, I'll put a picture of Troy. Dresses do it right, didn't you? I don't dress as M. Bison, though. You should. No, you should. have to use Raul. If yeah. anyone here is doing Bison, it's going to be me when I do Cammy as Bison. Thank you no. very much. Good Good luck with that. Evil it's Cam? an actual thing. I'm going to do it. What's your name again? Brian? Okay. Um, like Brian, you said you saw a game originally that had you um, question its motive. Tell me about it. It's called Life. Huh? What? Your game that was $20 on Steam. Oh, we're actually talking about that? Yeah, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the shit fest that is Steam right now. And their, I mean, game, and their games. I mean, it's a visual novel. It's a silly concept. Uh-huh. A dating sims game? I'm aware of these. Well, no. it's no, it's not a dating sim. It's just a visual novel. Okay. Yeah, a dating sim. I mean, so what about it? What's so special about this game? I mean, it's called Love at First Sight. Uh-huh. It's Go about on. a guy who meets this girl who has a giant fucking eye like one like cyclops giant fucking eye it's creepy looking that's Aww. it so it's futurama yeah kind of except the <laughs> eye looks fucking creepy instead of like cartoony simpsons like hold on I'm, I'm pulling up an image if i can find it wait was this on steam yeah it just it came out like page? yeah it just came out like this week sometime. What was it called again? Love at First Sight. Oh, I see it. After falling in love at first sight it's, it's with $9. the shy Sachi Usui, an injury-ridden single-eyed high school girl, the protagonist tries to win over her lonely and isolated heart. A pure nice. heartwarming romance game where the apple of your eye only has one eye. I really wow. Yeah, she she has she has like the eye from like those monsters from Final Fantasy. I forget their name. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I really want it. I want to buy this game and play it and just stream it. Just to see like, how bad it is. Do it. Take that one, the one-eyed monster from Final Fantasy and just put that eye on, like, a schoolgirl. Okay. And there you go. Like, oh, that's, that's what this so is. It's so creepy looking. And it's just like a normal school, like a short schoolgirl. Also, but with she, a giant is fucking eye in the middle of her face. It's pretty weird. Like everyone else is normal. Just her. But this girl has a giant fucking eye. And so far, this game has positive hey, hey. reviews. Well, well, Ryan, maybe your main character has an eye fetish. Maybe. Clearly. Maybe he wants a skull fucker. Clearly. I, I went there. I came with the skull fucking jokes. Just, the- that's it. Radio is only a dollar. <clears throat> that's, not, that's not a bad deal. I might buy it right now. Jet Set Radio for a dollar? Fuck yeah. Why are we talking I would, about I would this if game I did right. on the podcast? I didn't really need to talk about it. Oh yeah, we, I, I decided to make it a topic. Okay, Colleen. Okay. Colleen, you have your shit. Go ahead and talk about your shit. What Since shit? We're on the topic of uh, me being salty and um, Steam and Capcom. Capcom decided to do the Publishers Week thing where a lot of their games were 80% off. So me actually not buying a lot of games for my computer, I decided why the fuck not. I decided to buy myself a copy of Dead Rising 2 off the record, which, in my opinion, I thought Dead Rising... Oh, wait, you got off the record? Yeah. Holy holy shit, that eye's big. 
Yeah. Well, shit. Serious. If you got off the, if you got off, I thought you got freaking regular Dead Rising. No, I have Dead Rising for my 360, and then I have off the record too. Oh, off the record on my uh, com- on my PC. But anyway, oh, man, oh, if I would have known, then I would I would have bought it too. I told you it was for the fucking PC. It was for off the record. T- uh, off the record. You didn't say off the record. You just said two. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, you should have checked it out your damn self. Anyway. Dude, Frank West, he covers yours. I have this in my heart for Dead Rising. I like Dead Rising. It's a pretty funny game. It fits on a lot of cliches in a lot of good ways. And then I also realized that they had um, Resident Evil Revelations 2 for like two bucks. And I was like, okay. I've already seen a gameplay to this by watching uh, Matt and Pat from Best Friends play. And everything like that. And I was like, okay, why the fuck not? Well, I didn't realize this until like three hours ago before we started recording this, that it was only for one episode of the fucking game. I was so brought down by this. I This is why I don't buy games from Capcom. This is why I don't buy games online via Steam anymore. Because apparently, if you want to play the whole fucking thing, you got to shell out like 50 bucks. $2 but okay, hold on. But Colleen, the game was episodic. It's, it was announced to be episodic. No. no. Yes. No. Just no. Uh, let okay. me explain to you. Let me explain to you why games being episodic are really fucking annoying, in my opinion. I understand having cliffhangers. I understand that you want to try and make more money out of it. That's not the way you do it. DLC is pushing it, but it's understandable. To sit there and to make us fucking wait God knows how long for a fucking episode just because you guys want to squeeze a little more fucking extra money out of us is fucking stupid. I got annoyed when Telltale did it with uh, The Walking Dead and with The Wolf Among Us. I didn't want to wait God knows how fucking long for Wolf Among Us to come out with all five episodes so I can buy them all at once. That shit's annoying. I fucking hated it, but I love those damn games to death. Telltale has yet to let me down. Capcom, on the other hand, just cannot get anything fucking right. It honestly sounds like you just have buyer's remorse. That's what it sounds like. I, I am a... I have I always have buyer's remorse. I always do. But I should have gone my gut instincts and just gone with off the record. Because I played Revelations. I beat Revelations. That was probably the worst 30 bucks I've ever fucking spent on a Resident Evil game next to Resident Evil 6. I still need to play 6. The demo was really fun. Hey, play with a friend so you can both shit on it. Hey, Troy, what, what, what console do you have? 360 and PS3? I'll lend you, you my copy. But anyway. I mean, you could. There's a, uh, like a good portion of this podcast group will tell me I'm wrong for having my opinion that saying that uh, Revelations fucking sucked for the th- fucking sucked in general as a game, which um it did. Uh, I haven't played it. It's still really bad. It's a waste of money. Um, I wouldn't spend more than twenty bucks on it. Even then, that's being lenient. I didn't like how it was all just a fucking soap opera game, and there's just all cliches of well, you have this character and this character. But wait, they're looking for this character, you know, and uh, you kind of find out that certain character work with another character is actually the bad guy. God, shit, where does this sound familiar to? Oh, wait, every other fucking Resident Evil game that's past one. It, it's just, it's a recycled, rehashed piece of bullshit, and it's just cut up into more into fucking soap operas, and, oh, wait, we're gonna put it into a different place. Oh, wait, we're gonna put Tara Grishy out here. Gee, uh, let's make it to where they're having this nice thing going on. Oh, wait, something went down, because someone got mad at another person, Tara Grishy, so they took down the whole city. Oh, shit, that's another Raccoon City incident. Instead of it being zombies, it's just fucking monsters. Why am I not surprised by this? Why do I keep on selling my fucking vagina out to Capcom so they can fuck me over more? Why the fuck? Capcom just... I hate Capcom. I just I just want more No More Heroes. That's all I want. I just want to play No More Heroes now. It needs more Suda. It does need more Suda. Oh, man. That was so salty I almost died. Damn, I didn't kill you over. You almost did. You almost did. Let me tell you about my random Harley Quinn then, so I can finish you no, off. No, no, no. Oh God, no. No, 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 we're, no. We're, we're, on, we're on the topic of video games <laughs> right now still. No, we don't need to hear that again. Okay, Troy, since you kind of jumped in late to the game. God damn it. 
<laughs> Sean, take away her phone. You take away. I don't want to do that. Yours. Okay, Troy. Since you tried to jump in late to the conversation, anything you want to talk about video game wise? Uh, well, have you all heard about the Kickstarter for Ukulele? Yep. I've heard about it. The game that looks like Banjo Kazooie, except with different (laughs) animals. Because it's made by the people who made Banjo Kazooie. I mean, it looks exactly like Banjo Kazooie, except with different animals. Because it's made by people. Well, I mean, no, I'm not saying, like, yeah, it is made by the exact same people, but. Not only is it that, but it looks and feels like Banjo Kazooie. You know what? Except they replaced the bear. With, uh, they replaced the bear and the bird with the other two. I forget what they are. A bat and like a lizard. But, a oh, bat and a lizard. That's what a spiritual successor is. Okay. Okay. Let me. You know no, what? I'm talking like down to the move set. It looks exactly alike. Oh my god. That's what a spiritual successor is. No, it's not. Look at Mighty oh, Number Nine. Sweet Jesus, baby. Look at Christ. Mighty Number Nine. I don't and like look that at the either. Castlevania game. Look at Bloodstain. No, okay. It's a spiritual successor. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you. It's on designed that. to be the game without legally being the game. Okay, and that same notion, look at Axiom Verge. It is fucking Metroid, but not Metroid. Well, yeah. The yep. baby. Same thing, the like, baby. same thing with Banjo Kazooie. The baby. It's Banjo, yeah, I mean, uh, ukulele. It's Banjo Kazooie, but not Banjo Kazooie. Same, same thing with Bloodstained. It's. Castlevania, but not Castlevania. It's it is a it is a game where it is the exact same game we've been waiting for, but just different title. Oh shit! I completely forgot Axiom Verge was out. It's good. I have it. I remember hearing about it and being like, "Ooh." It, it, it's it's it's, it's Super Metroid. Because I I love me some Super Metroid. Yeah, it's a good game. I I recommend playing it. Um. I I don't know. I mean, sh- you make you make your a good point, but like, I don't know. When I see the other games, it looks like it has its own personality. With this, I just see a banjo kazooie with different with a different skin. Okay, did you ever play Saints Row? Saints Row. Yeah, of course. That's GTA. No, it's not. Yes, have it you is. played Saints oh Row? My God, it used to be. Just- no, 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 no. It used to be, but then it turned in. You can't go around in a septic tank shooting literal shit at houses to lower the house value for a uh, trans uh, for a cross dresser in okay. Grand Theft Auto. Okay, but you have to admit it has its part- own personality, but <laughs> it's it's the same kind of game. Okay, but with ukulele, it doesn't. Let, let me stop. Hold on. Let, let me let me stop you. All right. Let me let me stop you all right there, because Saints Row is a completely different game from Grand Theft Auto. I mean, yeah, it was just you know the typical sandbox steel shit that you know plenty of other games have done too. But Ukulele is a spiritual successor, meaning it is the same game made by the same people, only they had to change things so that way legally they could still make that game. It's the same thing with Mighty Number no. Nine. It's the same thing with Bloodstained. It's going to be exactly the same. Well, the Only thing about Spiritual different. Successor, it has a chance to make be like sure. It's like it's the same, but like it can be like its own personality. That's but that's different not what from they're the going original. for. Yeah, but that that's not what they're going for. Ukulele, they want it to be Banjo Kazooie. Bloodstained, they want it to be Castlevania. Hell, the main character looks like Alucard. Really? I don't think so. No, it's a girl. The other one, the one that's going to be voiced by David Hayter. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what are you looks talking exactly about? exactly like Alucard. He does. Let me take a look again. Oh, well. Oh, uh, anything else? Mighty number, Mighty number 9. Exactly. Okay, like I Man. don't care for Mighty Number 9. I think that's just a cop-out as well for those just leeching off of those who want the nostalgia factor. It's not, though. Mighty Number no, Nine no, no. is KG. Yeah, Mighty Number Nine that. is KG Unifune's game because he legally cannot touch Mega Man, and he still wants to make Mega Man games. But Capcom will not let him. Yeah, but I don't. So he yeah. made a new Mega Man. That's yeah. That's also part of the problem. In other words, Capcom and Konami are just fucking us over. 
in a nutshell. Uh, you know, you know what we need. We need another Marvel vs. Capcom. Original ideas for video games? No, yeah. we, need, we need another Marvel vs. Capcom. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We really don't. We need another Marvel vs. Capcom. We just need the... the <laughs> we just need Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and be happy. No, no, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is good. But we need a yeah. part... We need Marvel and Capcom to make up and make another game. Because right now, what we get from Marvel is fucking Age of Heroes bullshit, which is a mobile game that fucking sucks... A huge donkey nut. What? A terrible mobile game? Get out of town. No. Yeah. Oh, well. And uh, lastly, the Nintendo World Championship has been announced. Yay. Actually, guys, real quick, before we mention anything else about all this stuff, I think we should mention about the uh, fucking amazing artwork that Master Rock did of us, of the WIT podcast. Oh, damn. I was going to... Uh, I was going to do a separate thing about that. You just, oh, you stole, well. You, you stole my thunder. Dun, 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 it's the salt, man. It's the salt. I know. I was going to do a whole promotion video for her. Ma- Mashi, if you're listening to this, thank you so much for all the work you did. We and fucking love you, and I look amazing with my white hair. But I yes. don't have green eyes. I, have, I was wearing white eye contacts, but I have brunette eyes. But still, it's cool. Troy, do you got anything to say about it? About what? About the pic- you didn't see the picture? No. Yeah, Mashi, Troy's, an unappre- uh, Troy's a very unappreciative guy. I fucking love this. This is pretty. Yeah, um... So cute. I love it so much. Yeah, um... And we encourage any and all fan art that is not Tori. So please... It's not Tori's fan fictions. W- what, am, what am I supposed like to be looking here? at? Because I, like, completely zoned out. Oh, my God. Troy, you know you're, ki- <laughs> you're, you're killing me, right? You know you're killing me, right? I'm good at that. Uh, I mean... I mean, why is Tori an aviator? Why is Tori what? Why is Tori well, an she's aviator? She's mom and dad. Steampunk. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's steampunk. It's, it's, it's relevant to what everyone wanted it to be. And uh, Troy's Danny Sexbang. Because cosplay. Oh, oh I'm okay. still Danny Sexbang, apparently? Okay. Well, we couldn't change you. We couldn't change the draft. <laughs> it was already done, and, and I told her just to fix what we could. It was a tribute to Danny Sexbang. Troy is uh, hey. Troy Daniel Sexbang. I, I I just hope people don't like pick up on it and they're like, man, that guy was with Danny Sexbang, man, you know, but you with the internet, but <laughs> that, that's how the internet talks. <laughs> but you, you, uh, you know what? It really creeped me out though. How hmm. she how she made me not know it, not giving her a picture, or anything of me. <laughs> Yeah. John, I had no idea you were a white guy. <laughs> yeah, because I go by Black Napa. But uh, <laughs> I literally, I literally you sound so white. No, no, I literally told her straight out, use the image you made previously of me. And she goes, nope, gonna make you white. And I'm like, that's a pretty uncanny appearance. How'd you know I look like that? I just hey, guess. you look so generic. I do look generic with my. My black eyes, my black hair, and my white skin. And your glasses. <laughs> and I look I don't have glasses. I have a scouter. I have a scooter. I look John, 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 What? What does look the like a, say about it? Power like, level! Guys, I look like fucking Sean Connery, and I appreciate this you song. Look, you don't look like Sean Connery. Where the fuck do you get Sean Connery from? <laughs> you don't think I look like Sean Connery. You uh, don't. You don't. Sean Connery. I'm talking about the fucking picture, okay. you shit lord. No, you don't look like Sean Connery. Who the, who the fuck else has short white hair like that? And Drinkle, looks as sophisticated. Drinkle Malfoy. Mm. I can't remember his I'm name. going to pick faults on the moon. I'm going to pick faults. Mm, if yes. you get that reference, then yes. Mm. Yes. But yeah. Um, that being said, Nintendo World Championship, it's going to happen. Troy, get your power glove. We're going to go to a peep. Oh, Akihiko from Persona 3. He's got white, short white hair. Troy, you there? You dead? Guys, Troy's dead. Rip Troy. Hello? There you go. Hey, Troy. Oh, my God, zombie. Troy, you died on us again. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, eh. Troy. Troy, get your power glove on. We're going to go compete in the Nintendo World Championship. I love the power glove. It's yeah. so, so bad. I have a power glove. It does suck so bad. 
California. Lucky. I wish I had a pair of gloves. I'll, I'll sell you mine. How much? How much do you want for it? Uh, that's not how that question works. I'm supposed to ask you how how much you want for it. Okay. How much does your life mean to you? Like 50 cents? There you go. 50, there you go. 50 cents. <laughs> Guys, I can't handle this. Splatoon is coming out in like a week. You don't need it. I, I so need it. It's like a few. It comes out a few days before my birthday. I need this in my life. I want Splatoon. Sean. I want to put squid lollies shooting each other. Sean, I need this in my life. Sean, you, yeah. hear, you hear this? She wants the game. If you don't deliver on her birthday, we don't expect you to hear you on the podcast anymore. Oh no no no! It's fine. I'm not gonna kill him if he doesn't give it to me. I have him in my life. He's like the best thing in my life. If it doesn't give me a fucking game, it's okay. Go Splatoon all over you. But uh, but everyone else, if I don't get Splatoon on my birthday from anyone else that's not Sean, I will come to your house as one by one and pee on everything you love. See, I'm exempt, and take it from me, you should you should actually really fear this threat. I have a cat, and I know how to use it. Look, my, if you want to so come all the way up to Wisconsin to pee on my stuff, I'd let you at that point. No, no, my cat's gonna pee on your stuff. Yeah. You know if you want to tra- have your cat travel up to Wisconsin to PMI stuff, I just let oh, it at that point. It's gonna freeze up there. Well, oh, Luna almost destroyed something I liked, so it's that gone. might be a possibility. Hey, hey, I have a, I have a question for you, Ryan. Uh, what is snow? What is snow? Is snow is, like? uh, uh, have you ever, like, opened your freezer and noticed that, uh, white stuff sticking to the side of it and you can kind of scrape it off? That's not the same thing. <laughs> now, you imagine that, but, like, less sticky and more, like, light and fluffy and incredibly dangerous, especially on the road. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I know. Oh, by, uh, for, on the record, I love my cat too much to send up to Wisconsin. Okay, okay. God, God damn it, Colleen. I know that. Texas has snow up <laughs> north. You just go north a little bit and you hit snow. Trust me. Okay. Colleen, <laughs> Colleen, I'm exempt from that because gi- I'm giving you baby baby Bowser, so don't even start with me. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to put a, I'm gonna have to put a trigger warning that if you're triggered by M Bison, don't listen to this episode. Un- yes! Un- <laughs> uh, Stop opening it up. Cut the cut in like aren't that. Real. I have a uh, I have the a, one taunt I from Ben Bison. I have a knife in my uh, hands. I'm going to cut myself if this continues. Right, right here. <laughs> Sean, do what you must. I can't. You you are a man. She is a girl. Do it. <laughs> I'm kind of powerless in this situation. I like where I sleep. Okay. But do you sleep where you like? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's some deep philosophical shit there, Troy. Troy's head is out of the way. You like where you sleep, but do you sleep where you like? <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You know what? You know, I have a challenge. I have a, for, I have a challenge for everybody. Shit. <laughs> Okay, okay, challenges. Are we doing challenges? Yeah, we uh, actually doing challenges? I oh, I'm so hyped. Yeah, I, I, forgot, I, forgot, right I, for, I forgot about a challenge last week. I was going to challenge y'all, but we got caught up in our conversations. Everybody here, spam call leans well with rule 34. That's it. Not doing it. Rule 34 Splatoon. Everyone do it. Not doing it. Wait, it has to be in Splatoon or can it be rule 34 or anything? Splatoon. Not mm-hmm. doing it. Why aren't you doing it? Guys. Splatoon. The cost is, does not add up. It, it's too much of a cost with too little, little of a gain. Okay, then you know what? In your case, Troy, you get you get the, you get the exemplary rule. Spammer wall with Splatoon parody YouTube poop. There you go. What the fuck? I looked up rule 34 Splatoon and I got a bunch of Splat- salty Splatoon, Splatoon <laughs> memes. Splatoon. S-P-L-A-T-O-O-N. Uh. <laughs> Why did salty you... spittoon like yes. like from Spongebob yeah uh, how tough like, are you welcome to spouty oh, spittoon how, how tough are you how tough am I <laughs> y'all need to see that video okay 
I kicked the guy's ass with my eyes closed. Yeah, so it was Chuck Norris. Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh, God. Here um, you go. Enjoy this salty Splatoon video. All right, guys. I guess that's it for tonight. I really Welcome to the sp salty Splatoon. How much? How tough are you? I watch porn. Yeah, so then post it on Facebook right this way, sir. Oh my god. <gasps> oh Alright guys, I guess that's, that's, that's it for us tonight. It was the human centipede. Oh, right this way. If you right like this what, way. Remember everybody, if you like what you heard, please give us a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps us out. And if you really do... It, 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 was that seriously it? Like, you, you jumped in late, Troy. What were you doing? You didn't tell me until like... We, we, let's see what... we, had, a, we had a Facebook chat thingy. I didn't see shit. Oh. Well, Troy, check the chat more often. Troy, you. Can pull, I still don't see it. Troy, we'll record a little more, I guess, for you. No, 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 no. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. I see how it is. Oh my god. Troy, Message me like halfway through, and then be like, "Hey, would you happen to be down at this exact moment right now?" It's well, cool. Well, good portion. It's cool. Troy, in our defense, a good portion of the time, you're never fucking there, so. Don't be mean to Troy. Troy. I Troy, Troy, we love you. That is a lie. I, I love you. That is a lie. <laughs>